Hi and welcome to the Shop Integrator e-commerce demo that will show you how in a matter of minutes and a few steps that you can turn any website into a site selling digital download products such as ebooks, audio tracks, music files and videos and software or any files that you want to sell. Now for this demo we're going to use PayPal to take the um, payments however Shop Integrator supports a number of other main payment processes that you could connect your checkout to. So I've created a um, simple HTML website template and you'll see I have already copied and pasted a few e-commerce buttons for a view card and this physical book into the site. But what I want to do now is I want to add a new product and this product is going to sell my digital products. So you can sell um, you can sell them as individual files or you can sell attach multiple files to a single product in Shop Integrator and sell it as a bundle and the size of the files uh, are not a problem. You can sell large video files, hundreds or gigabytes in size through Shop Integrator if you want to. So uh, we're going to go now into our Shop Integrator web admin. So I've created this test account um, here and the first thing we're going to do is go to um, our product manager and when I click the um, product manager now this is where I'm going to create my download product. I'm going to give it a um, unique code in the system. I'm going to call it download and give it a identifier and a price. So this is a standard product. This is the basic information we need to add. But to make it a digital product, I'm going to scroll down to this um, optional digital download section. So by clicking this, it's going to just tell me it's going to turn stock control off um, because it's a digital product. We don't want it going out of stock and um, I'm now going to click the attach files button. So here I'm going to directly pick the files I want to uh, attach to this product. So let's have a, um, a movie file. So, so click the upload. So this is a 35 megabyte um, movie file now and the speed of this upload will really depend upon your own broadband and internet speed. Um, typically the speeds that your internet providers quote say 10 megabits a second or 30 megabits a second the upload speed of that will be about a tenth of the advertised speed that they tell you because the speed they're telling you is their download connection speed so I have a, um, a decent internet connection here so you'll see that this 35 megabyte uh, movie file has come up uh, in a matter of seconds now so I'm going to also I'm going to attach a bundle of different files to this to this single product and I'm going to attach my my sample ebook and click the upload and what before that's finished uploading I'm going to prepare the next one and queue that up and you'll see before we even kick the upload off for the guitar the uh, ebook is finished uploading so that's a few megabytes ebook and a few megabytes um, guitar uh, audio web file or whichever type of uh, audio file that you're selling so now because I've done it directly through the product manager um, the files are automatically attached to this product I'm creating so when I click the close we'll see here now are the files that I have uh, attached so we're going to come down we're going to click this add new product button so shop integrator has created this download product and here it is so um, I have a handy little plug-in button here what I can do is if when I click this it's going to take me through it's just going to remind me if I was editing anything else it's going to move me away it's going to take me through to this add e-commerce to your website page it's the same as clicking this quick access link here but it's um, chosen the product up front as this download product and on this page uh, is the exact set of steps that you need to follow to add the Shop Integrator e-commerce buttons and e-commerce solution into your website. So by default, this any web page is selected for standard HTML website templates or any site builders that we don't have particular integration guides for as, as Shop Integrator can be added into most websites. Um, so if your website supports the ability to sort of embed a, um, a HTML code or um, an HTML snippet or whatever it wants to call it or code block then you can add shop integrator but we also have um, particular site builders popular site builders and content management systems listed here so if yours is listed you can choose that and what that means is you'll get specific integration steps for your um, e-commerce uh, solution so that it'll make it easier for you to add shop integrator into your website so 
when we scroll down you've got different um, buttons type groups of button types for individual buttons or entire lists of products you can add in in one go checkout and cozy controls for things like the view cart button to open the shopping cart shopper basket information for things like the total cost of items or total number of items in the cart you can add these as different um, e-commerce add-ins into your page but we're going to leave it on the sell single product and you'll see the download product is selected because we've come straight through from the product manager and there's a various different um, e-commerce buttons that we can sort of choose from so I'm going to leave it on this one that's default selected rather than click to choose one of the other ones so the buy now would have added it to the cart and opened the cart in one go whereas the add to cart will add it to the cart and we'll use a separate view cart button in the site which I've already put in place so you'll follow that through then to the final step which will tell you exactly how to do it for your particular website which basically comes down to a generally a copy and paste operation or for particular um, content management systems like um, WordPress and .NET Nuke and Drupal we have e-commerce add-ins to make it even easier in those systems but what you need to do is if you have a particular site builder listed you choose that and you'll get very detailed uh, in step-by-step -step instructions specific to your site builder so that'll make it even easier so I'm not going to go through the um, the step that shows you just how to copy and paste that into the site template otherwise that it, it, um, it'll be specific to the site builder you've chosen so just off screen now I'm going to paste that e-commerce button into my HTML site template um, upload that and now when I refresh the page you'll see that shop integrator has inserted this e-commerce add in here so the whole appearance of that can be styled through the um, the appearance manager in shop integrator here for changing the the colors and the fonts and the buttons from a variety of built-in buttons or custom buttons that you can upload or switching off the quantity picker so you can really match it for your site here and now when I click add to cart for this it tells me it's been added to the cart and now as a customer when I click view cart you'll see that here is the product in my shopping cart now as a merchant I've not yet connected my account to my payment gateway yet so I'm going to connect now um, the uh, shop integrator account for that merchant to their payment gateway so if I go back to shop integrator my admin click the shop admin home page and back on the home page I click this payment gateway manager so this is where I choose the particular payment gateway or gateways because shop integrator supports multiple payment posters at the checkout so you could offer various payment options um, so you'll see that for a new account that PayPal is um, listed, already listed. So you just scroll down and you'll see that. Or you can choose one of the other ones that are pre-connected and built in. Um, and if you don't see yours here in this video, then please check the shopintegrator.com website where there's a payment processor page because we're adding new ones um, all the time. So yours may now be uh, listed there if you have a particular payment processor in mind. So it wants us to enter our PayPal primary email address so here is this is the email address that I've used to create a PayPal um, account with directly at PayPal so I've got a test account I've created I'm going to paste that into here and then I'm going to click this save all changes button so your changes have been saved so now when we scroll down our shopping cart is now connected to our PayPal account um, for payment so what you'll see is now when I open the cart back on the enchanting wildlife website the warning message about it not being connected to the gateway is gone when I continue to the checkout we are now ready as a customer I could complete this checkout I could pay you for that um, that uh, download product and the customer will be sent the order receipt where the links to their downloads um, where they can go to the download portal and download the files that they've just purchased so so far I have now set up everything to sell digital content on my website with PayPal but I'm going to go one step further because we want a better slicker experience so we want PayPal to return the customer back to your shop integrator accounts customer download portal after payment so that they move straight from the payment screen of PayPal straight into downloading their purchase content and they'll also be sent the email with the email links to the download portal but that will now be a secondary mechanism so they won't have to wait for that 
so that will give your shoppers a much slicker digital download sales experience and to do that we're going to go back to the shop integrator admin back to the so we're on the payment gateway manager page and what we want to do is we want to click this use our payment completed web page so by ticking that um, it gives us a little pop-up message saying basically to do this PayPal requires some extra steps to be set up so you have the exact details of what you need to follow in PayPal um, here directly in your shop integrator web admin so it's simply a case of working through the step-by-step -step instructions to set that up but I'm gonna go on now and show you exactly what to do at PayPal um, which is what these step-by-step -step instructions are describing so what we need to do is we need to enter our PayPal identity token here so PayPal has a special um, token that it will then give us that we can instruct PayPal to return the customer after payment back to your shop integrator order completed web page so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our PayPal login so here's my PayPal primary email address so I just entered in my shop integrator um, check out for the payment gateway manager I'm going to log in with that account now to PayPal so on my PayPal there we go so it's logging me in so I'm going to come in now on the my account tab on the profile sub tab I'm going to click profile then in the sidebar on the left I'm going to click my selling tools and in the selling online section this website preferences is where we're going so if we come across to the update link on the website preferences row, we click that. So on this page now, we see website payment preferences. The auto return for website payments, we're going to switch that to on. The return URL, it, it requires that we enter a URL here. So I'm just going to enter the URL of, the, um, of your own website. So you put whatever your website is here. Now, Shop Integrator will actually override this in the transaction but PayPal needs you to put something in here so put your own website so PayPal will um, need it here but Shop Integrate will actually instruct PayPal where it needs to send them to the, your customer download portal so just enter your own website and when I scroll down you see this payment data transfer we also need to switch to on so that was auto return for, for website payments auto return on enter your own website URL here and payment data transfer optional switched on then I scroll right to the bottom and click the save button at PayPal so now that's saved my settings so what we need now to do is we need to go back in and get that that um, identity token strings so we come back to my account profile go back to my selling tools back to website preferences click the update and here are settings from before but now when I scroll down to the payment data transfer section we now have this identity token which is exactly what we're after so I need to make sure I copy that exactly as it is so make sure I've got it all selected I'm not missing anything I'm going to copy that I'm going to come back to the shop integrator payment gateway manager I'm going to paste that into this PayPal identity token here and I'm going to just double check that that matches the value here and I haven't missed anything off the end so that's the same and then I'm going to click go back to shop integrator and I'm going to click save all changes so now when we scroll down you'll see here's your PayPal primary email address and here's your identity token so now when we go back to our enchanting wildlife page here's our checkout still from before for that customer so now we'll have a, an even better digital download experience for this customer so when I'm going to click to tick the checkbox to accept the terms and conditions and I'm going to click this um, secure payments you can have your own terms and conditions list linked here which you can set in the, the shop integrator web admin so now as a customer I'm going to click through to secure payment so shop integrator now will initiate the payment transaction with your PayPal account so here you'll see it's transferred the um, the customer over to the secure PayPal payment page for my account so I need to make sure I'm using a different um, email now for this payment that uh, I used to set up as the merchant because you can't pay yourself uh, using the same account so this is a customer um, test email 
account we've set up. And I'm going to click down to log in. So here, when I complete the pay payment now at PayPal and click pay now, you'll see that um, because we set up that, that identity token for the auto return, PayPal gives you this brief summary page for the total order cost, but it returns the shopper automatically to your shop integrator accounts digital download portal page. So now you see that because this is a digital download portal page, um, which I've done a little bit of customization just for the color and a banner, you'll see we have this downloads available with order section and this proceed to download portal page. So if I click on the proceed to download portal page, you'll see now that the customer has been granted access to the files you'd attach to the product that they bought. You'll see that you as a merchant have been able to set up some controls that limits the maximum number of download downloads for the purchase files for each purchase file and um, a download expiry date so that you've given them a set period of time of which to download that so that they've got a few days to download that. So now this is um, Google Chrome I'm in so I'm just going to click now on the download file button and you'll see now that in Google Chrome the um, file is starts to download here. Now this is a 31.1 megabyte you see here um, video file and it's coming down in a matter of seconds. Now when I click on um, this there you go there's the the um, file that we just downloaded. So you can sell any size of file with Shop Integrator. Now the reason that came down so fast is because Shop Integrator um, uses a super fast uh, global content delivery network to securely deliver those um, files to the customer. What that means is that anywhere now on the globe those files will be uh, made available locally in a local data center across the content delivery network which means your customers download is only ever a short distance from wherever they live whether that's Australia or New Zealand to Asia to Africa to America Europe United Kingdom so they get a super fast download experience however large the file is and you'll see there's the sample ebook that I um, had attached so that's come down straight away and when I open that ebook you see there there's my um, ebook product and the last one was my audio track um, so when I click that that's come down straight away so now it's downloaded um, in Google Chrome there's my audio track so you saw in our digital download um, demo how we were able to quickly uh, create a product in shop integrator um, attach um, a an ebook PDF uh, an, an audio music track and a um, a larger video file to the product in shop integrator of how we went to the add e-commerce to your website page to follow the simple steps where we'd copy and paste that e-commerce button into our website. You saw how we were able to go into the Shop Integrator Payment Gateway Manager and quickly connect it to our PayPal account uh, so that we could receive money into your Merchant PayPal account and set up the um, auto return so that PayPal automatically return the customer to your Shop Integrator digital download portal. And then you saw us um, perform the checkout as a customer from your website with the Shop Integrator shopping cart checkout on to securely pay at PayPal and returned back to your order completed web page at Shop Integrator and straight on to the download uh, of their um, digital content through a super fast global digital, digital um, content delivery network. So please head over to shopintegrator.com to set up your free trial today and start selling your digital files from your website in minutes. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.